Hi folks, Aaron here, Aaron's Practical Reviews. In this video, I want to focus on the GVM Great Video Maker 600S ring light with detachable light rods. And it has uh, some cool features where you can change the color temperature, uh, change the brightness. Um, it's extremely accurate. It's a really cool light. Let's take a really close look at it here. Let me show you first what comes in the actual package that you get. And what I'm trying to see here, my main objective or main goal of this video is I wanna see if two of these will replace my humongous box soft lights, soft boxes I have up here in my studio, because these would provide a more portable, much more portable, uh, much easier setup of an option than lugging around these humongous Second. soft boxes that I'll show you. So that's a question I have, but also these things are great for streaming, live streaming, for all your Zoom, uh, for any kind of uh, webcam footage or like EOS utility is what I used it for. Uh, we use it for video gaming. There's just a lot of uses for this thing. So let's go in, let's go over all that, but let's start first seeing by seeing what you get. All right. So let's take a look at what we get in the box up close. Here's your base. Now this is a fold out. Comes with a little rubber cap on it so you don't scratch anything while you're... You've got a couple power cords, individual cords that will attach to this part of the bar, which we will get into. You get two of those to attach to two separate bars. You get your main power plug you get your ring light. And as you can see here on the ring light, this you can attach directly on to here. This has to be lined up perfectly. There it goes. Okay, that's solid. Uh, back here, this is the attachment for, and the camera will rest right up on top here. All right, so that's attached. Okay, so that comes out. We're gonna screw this guy up and in. And this way it will be able to mount, be able to mount the camera onto that screw right there. Okay, so that's done. Now we're gonna take these guys. So just put them in so they are facing the light and you'll hear them click in and they're in. Here, this does not have the ability to lean forward. So you can't, tilt or lean it uh, you can only pan it so for example when I'm using this for gaming I simply use these because these will be behind the monitor so I leave these two off as you'll see here and uh, this is how I'll use it for for gaming or for streaming you get quite a bit of cord looks like a, I don't know, six to ten feet somewhere in there, maybe eight. Uh, and then this here is about just long enough to cover this if it's fully extended up. Actually, n right next to the power switch, the on off. So we're gonna plug that into that one, not in these ones. Okay, these ones are for the wand, which you will use these for. So first I'll turn this on, then I'll turn it around. Let's tighten that a little. Whoa, bright, huh? So let's see, that's at 50% currently. Okay, as you can see right up here, it's at 50%. And if you look right here, this little green light on the left, that's your power. That's indicating it's got a little P on it. Here's your gauge, here's your uh, control knob. And what I love about this is how precise you can make this. I love things that you can be ex extremely precise on. So here you can go literally one through 100. So if you, if you know for a fact that 64 is the perfect amount of light, you can put it at 64. I love that. And it's very, very precise. And the range, as you can see back here, it is, uh, yeah, it's very incremental, very nice. Now, to change the color, you simply push this in, and now you can adjust the color. 
as you can see back here on the wall. So 5,600, take it down, 3,200, the color temperature. Anyway, so that is it. And now let's go over these guys, experiment with this. So now, like I said, if you plug this in, in there, you can plug this into one of the wands like this. And now you have, whoa, that's bright, the wand. Now with the wand, uh, unfortunately, as you can see here, the wand, you cannot adjust the, the power output or the color temperature of the wand once it's plugged in. In order to do that, you have to plug this actually in. Well, that's too bright. Let's turn that off. So in order to adjust this again, you need to plug it in here. You can only adjust it while it's attached to the unit, but it really does provide a neat uh, little option for more light or different, you know, different types of, of angles and whatnot. A lot of, I can think of a lot of ways to use this. So, okay, so that's the basic rundown of how the device actually works. Now let me show you what it lo actually looks like with a camera mounted here and the, and the video difference you get from the setup I have right now, like I showed you with two huge box lights soft, with soft boxes, to using two of these actually. But first we're gonna start with one right here. This right here is what it looks like with the camera attached to the ring light coming right through the center. And I'm looking directly into the ring light at the camera. And I've got the settings with the power output at 30, which actually is really nice. It doesn't hurt my eyes when I'm looking at the camera. So when I'm talking, it does, I'm not being blinded, which is nice. And then I've got the color temperature for this particular shot at 4,000. Kelvin and uh, you know I have my the settings in camera the exact same settings that I would have if I had both of my um, soft boxes up so this is this just is the single light m minimal settings but it's close it's fairly close and let's well, see how another it thing about this is Unfortunately, the one of the rod lights blocks the camera flip screen. So I can't really see it unless I duck down and under. So it's really hard to see the composition here. And then after this shot here, using the single, the single light, I'm gonna move on to putting both, I have two of these, I'm gonna put two of them up. And that's, we're gonna, that's when we're gonna see if two of these can replace two softbox lights or at least compare and see what a difference it would be. So let's go to that now. So this right now is with the softbox lighting, my normal studio lighting. So what I'm gonna do is let you see this really quick, and then I'm going to switch out this setup with the GVM 600S lights. Put them in the exact Okay, now I am, I'm using the the uh, GVM 600 S's and the current settings I've got them both on and they're right where the ring light or I'm sorry they're right where the box lights were and they are set at basically stock what you get right out of the box at 50 power on each and the Calvin of 440 on each so I can make some wild adjustments here to change the look here so what I've done now is I've taken the Calvin all the way up to 5600, which is a really cold on these. And I've upped the power to, uh, to 75%. So, and like I said, being able to fine tune it to the exact percentage means I can set them both identical and there's no guesswork. Okay. So this is a bit drastic here, but this is taking it the color temperature on the opposite end to the warmth at 3200 k3200 is the reading on both the lights and i'm running it at 40 percent power so i went from 75 percent power down to 40 percent power and as you can see just a totally different atmosphere here i think i got the 
perfect mix here down now. So that I'm using them now, and I think I've figured out the exact settings to duplicate the softbox lights. So that's awesome. Anyways, guys, thank you. I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, remember, uh, check the links below. I've got gvm.com linked in there. Check out their products. I got a bunch of cool things. If you've never heard of them, great video maker. Uh, I'm going to link these lights in the description below. And so to wrap it up, uh, a quick recap. Uh, these lights are extremely precise with the exact numbers you can duplicate over and over. That's awesome. Uh, the, the downside for me was the fact that I, I, I can't tilt them with the equipment they sent me. However, it's not a huge deal to me because I've got tons of equipment that I can put on there and I could, I have tons of ball heads and stuff laying around. You know, I'm, I'm a photographer and a videographer. So having plenty of those laying around is not an issue, but that would have been nice if it had that, that, uh, option. So, so the way that I rate things are basically how useful are they to me? Are they easy to use? Is it something that I'm going to reuse? Is it really, is it difficult to set up and to use? All of that is, it completely passes all those tests for me. It, it checks all those boxes. And I love the fact that I can, I can just break it down and put them in a little bag this size, the whole entire unit, and take it with me on shoots and stuff like that, on long trips. This That's super useful. And the fact that I'm getting softbox quality lighting right now is awesome for me. I absolutely love that because I love I love the look this kind of a look for my videos and I can't lug those huge soft boxes around with me. These here are the perfect alternative. I love it. So super happy with those. And again, check out the links in the description below. I'll link the lights. Check out gvm.com. Uh, you'll see all the links in the description below. Awesome lights, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe and uh, have a fantastic day.